What's up guys? In today's video by the title, you can tell that we'll be diving into the movie John Wick. I have never seen any of these movies. Um, I've seen a preview from one of the reactors that I watched before. I think his name um, was Seth Screen. I think that he covered, he might have did John Wick before. Um, I didn't watch the video because I purposely wanted to do this myself. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just hold off on it. But I added it to my list. I'm just going down my list. Of plus the ones you guys have, um, you know, all your suggestions and stuff that you guys have been sending me. Thank you guys for coming under the post. I do have them all written down for me. But yeah, I really wanted to do this. Like I said, I don't know anything going into it. So I'm just curious to see what it's actually about and what it's got going on. So for these hours and, for, uh, hour and 41 minutes, please be tuned in because we are getting into John Wick. Oh my God. Hello? We open up the movie like this? Really, guys? Okay. What are you doing, John? Oh, this is his wife. Oh, so this is his moment he wants to die watching her. In the words of Game of Thrones, what do we say to the god of death? Not today. Today, <laughs> I love Game of Thrones. Love the view. That's a million dollar house. I already know that. Let's get into it. <laughs> so I wonder, is she dead or is she captive or what? What's up, beautiful people? This is the editing version of myself here, just to let you guys know that I am deeply sorry for the quality of this video moving forward. As honestly, I think that just because the sun was shifting that day around like three or four o'clock, that it was made the quality look very fuzzy, and it's it's annoying me. So I don't know if it annoys you guys the way it looks, but like I said, I just apologize from the bottom of my heart. But I still hope you guys enjoy the video as I like the movie so much. But yeah, bye. So she didn't get killed. She just died. Maybe she was sick prior to, I don't know. It's an anniversary. I think that's one thing I'm not ready for about marriage and stuff, like having kids, because God forbid anything happens, there's so many people you get to lose. Like you get you can lose your spouse, you can lose your children at any given like drop of a dime, like a drop of a dime, you could just lose them. And I don't think I'd be prepared for that. Poor John. And they don't have any kids. I hate this for him. Are they watching us? It's been a while. Oh. Isn't that the man from Harry Potter? What? Green Lantern? Green Goblin? Just checking up on an old friend. As you should. Hopefully the light doesn't change too much because you know it is getting a little bit darker here. Sorry. Here you go. Good night. Thanks. What is that? Is that an animal? A dog? Oh, he just got a dog. Mm. I'm sorry I can't be there for you. But you still need something, someone to love. Oh. And now that I have found my peace, find yours. That's beautiful that she actually thought about this. She planned this out for him because she knew he would need it. She knew he would need it. <laughs> Don't make me cry. Come on, John. Come on. Come on, John. Come on, John. Of course. Here's a cute little dog. What kind of dog is that? Is that a beagle? They just said, um, excuse me? I'm supposed to be on the bed. Why are you laying me here? For real. I'm up. I'm up. Do you even got food for Daisy? Daisy is, that's her best bud. Like, she's been on him for a couple hours, but she like, we hit it off great. What? She need water and food. She's hungry and thirsty. Grab you some cuba later. Is he feeding that dog cereal? Is this a form of um animal cruelty? Oh, Daisy buddy. 
That's a pretty car. I know people who like who like cars, they stuff like that. They pay attention to, to like the detail and the all that type of stuff. But not me. I'm not a car person. Get money. Pull your sister through up here. So they're showing us them for a reason. Is that great toy? Oh my god. Now he's in here. How much? Don't touch my car. Oopsie was sucker yet, right, son. I want a sucker yet. Oh! You have a good day, sir. I feel like there was one of the people who was watching him in the beginning. <laughs> Sir, what is his thing going drive ahead onto things? Because he did it at the end, like the very beginning of the show, beginning of the show, but the beginning of the movie, which I, which I presume to be the, at the end of the movie, and now he's doing it there. I don't trust this. I feel like something is happening by way. I think those people might have came to his house. They did. Oh my God. Uh, Great joy. Why? Oh my God. They're breaking stuff. Are you kill the fucking dog? The dog, really? Did they slap the dog to him? Dead and all? He just got Daisy. Daisy said, man, this wasn't supposed to happen to me. What more can this man lose? Like, what? Anything he do after this is warranted, for real. Like, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Like, they deserve it. And that your revenge. And they got his car. Off of their heads. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? You stole it. Where'd you get that car? I bet he got a reputation already because the way he asked, like, where did you get that car? Like, he's seen the car before. John is coming to get his stuff. I love this movie already. I just love the pacing of it. Like... We getting straight to the point. And we only like 15, 16 minutes in. Oh, he went straight to them? Is it here? It was. Hey, just get out of my shop. Get out right now. You just lose your shit, Aurelio? Because we own you. You own him? What type of, I don't understand people who think like that. Like, why are you thinking it's cool to say you own somebody? Hey, this is shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's what, that's what he gets. I need a ride. That's when he was standing by, right? Why he always drive like a bat out of here? I really speaking. I heard you struck my son. Mm-hmm. But she stole John Wick's car, sir. Oh. Yeah. Now you see the severity of it all? Now you and your son are lives are at stake. By the end of this, everybody will be dead. Everybody's going to be dead. Sir. Have you seen my son? Bring him to me now or ever. Father looking dapper, you hear me? One thing about Great Joe, he always will be the odds with his father, no matter what he play in. Thanks. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I stole the fucking car. What the fuck, Viggo? Right, you stay. Wait, so I was no just noticed he took off the jacket that beat him up and he about to put it he would just put it back on so he could beat him up more. It's not what you did, son. It's who you did it to. It's who you did it to. Exactly. He's not a nobody. And he drunk that straight. Times are desperate. John is a man of focus. Commitment. I just love this. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a bouncer. The bodies he buried that day lay the foundation of what we are now. Not John, not John laying the groundwork for the people. Of course you can't do nothing. So get the fuck out of my sight. I wonder if the father really gonna like protect him now. Like, is he gonna hide him? Is he calling John? Yes, he is. Bad fucking luck caused our paths to cross. 
cross once again. John? If a man don't answer, that's some crazy stuff. Handle this like civilized man to move on. Well, that was your answer. He's bringing the war to you. A one-man army. Tasker crew. <laughs> How many? How many do you have? But my thing is, he's an artist for his son. His son messed with John Wick. John Wick ain't messed with nobody else. They both put on a suit. Why do all, most people like who are in action movies, they wear, love to wear suits when they are like killing somebody. But I also like the touch that they have, they keep showing the um the wife's bracelet, but also the, the um Daisy's collar, symbolizing things that, uh, that was near and dear to him. The fact that he is like, well, of course we knew he was like a, a great assassin from the story, but it's just like, just to see it in action is always crazy to me. I love, I just love it. Cause they deserve it. Come on, one, two, kick, one, two, punch, ow. <laughs> I don't think they knew that where they were going. Cause I don't think they would have set themselves up like that. And they came in like a bunch of amateurs. Like nobody really thought it, it through. They just came in like really quiet and stuff. But you're going into a house where somebody legit who's a, a trained assassin. I'm like, what? Hey, that shot when he shot on himself. That is so cool. The police, who called the police? You uh, working again? No, I'm just sorting some stuff out. I'll leave you be then. <laughs> that is so funny. I mean, if I were a police officer, I'd let them go too, because you ain't about to come get me and my family. Absolutely not. I'll let somebody else on the force do that. No, mm-mm, mm-mm. Is that money? I don't, what type of corn is that? Not Chuck E. Cheese corns, is it? Good to see you, John. Oh, they, do they dispose of the body? You look good. Waste disposal, yes. And the fact is, their families will never get their bodies back. Does this type of stuff happen in real life? I wonder. Put Yusuf in the red circle and wait. In the red circle, in the red keep. Me and these uh, Game of Thrones references. What that man say? What the fray man say? You leave one wolf alive, the sheep are never safe. I would say not John is juicing on his day off. <laughs> but that's Game Green Goblin. I want to offer you this face to face. Oh, to kill John? Would you kill John Wick for two million dollars? He wouldn't stand a chance. I, I know just being in that lifestyle gotta be very stressful to constantly worry about killing and getting killed. Like it's just exhausting, I bet. Can he even fight anymore? I feel like John probably will be very, you know, on edge when it comes to these type of people. So even if he show up and it's like, oh, I'm just here to talk to you, old friend, he probably thinking, this man probably been sent to kill me. I would say, is that Jennifer from The Witcher? But it's not. And as always, it is a pleasure having you with us again. That sounds so creepy. I don't know why, but it did. Did it sound creepy to y'all too? This is a party? Oh, she's, I wonder if she's an assassin too, but I'm guessing that she probably is. Have you returned to the fold? Just visiting. Not just visiting. Reaches out and drags you back into its depths. Where do I find him? John, like, cut the, the, bull, the bull bass. Get to it. Have a drink. And relax. It's no relaxing because they're about to come get him. They're not caring about those those rules that you guys said at all. Jonathan. Hey, honey. Oh, my God. How long has it been? I'm going to say, um, ma'am, you can kiss me in the mouth. I'm retired. Not if you're drinking here, you're not. I mean, you could be retired and still go to the go to your old job. That girl, is that lady sent to kill him? Something circle, okay. Wait, how, but how did he get the message to her? That just registered really late. How did he get the message to her? Did he text it to her? 
We love a man in a suit. I'm telling you, a man in a suit. She's going into the world with heels on. The fact that John is like walking around so casual, like people can't recognize who he is, it's crazy to me. But how he can get through? I wonder, is he gonna shoot his way through? Are you scared of the fucking boogeyman? I'm not. But you should be. Exactly. You little boy. Right fucking now! Go get me a bottle! Come on! Wow. Demasculated that man very quickly. John, John, John. Afraid so, Francis. Why don't you take the night off? Well, this was nice about it. I think he's been very, like, strategic. Like, he's not trying to kill anybody who doesn't need to be killed. And I love that about him because he ain't got a problem with everybody. He got a problem with the boy. Are he going to get them too because they was in part a part of it, right? Crawl my human skin. Oh my god. Status. <laughs> He's creating a whole path. On Ooh. Ooh. Come on, moves. <laughs> so my thing is he saw opening, he didn't try to shoot him. But <laughs> oh, that's a buff man. Oh, he really grabbed the girl to shield him. Oh, what kind of um, what kind of blicky is that? But it's easy to spot him because he only got a towel on. He just running around pointing a gun like, sir, get it together. Oh my God, he is destroying these people. Come on, move. This man, this man is impeccable. I cannot. The security people are shooting so much that they're missing him. And I wonder, are they killing like other civilians? Like, cause there's no way that they are ha haven't killed nobody else. You ate him though, don't worry about it. Oh, they gotta go to hand combat. I wanna learn how to do hand to hand, hand combat. I really do. John, he would just throw John over, over the thing. But my thing is, he, if he had that gun to begin with, why didn't he use that to kill the guy instead of fighting him hand-to-hand -hand combat? I know I would have, personally. Now, why is he bleeding? Because I thought he had the, bullet, the bulletproof vest on, so when he stabbed him, couldn't he have stabbed the, the vest? May I suggest a drink, sir? Doesn't alcohol thin your blood out? So why would he suggest for him to drink alcohol while he's bleeding out? Do you need anything for the pain? No, I've got that covered. Really? Then you can be drinking it all the time, so you're going to need something for the pain. Let's think about this, Uncle John. Just imagine you have an uncle who is like a, an assassin, and he really be doing his thing, right? Like, John, that'd be so cool. Why would John lay him in front of the door like that? Is that a trap for John, like John trapping him or something? Oh, somebody trying to get him. Oh, she's trying to kill him? Really? I noticed. Kill her. No remorse. Beat her up too. You are always a pussy. Don't go soft on her. Give her what you got. This switch over is funny to me. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> he cast his rat up in the blanket. She said no, like she didn't try to come in and kill him. Everything all right? Yeah. I'll leave you to it then. I love it so much. It's so casual for them. And he did it without no water. They keep showing the hand tattoos for a reason. 
The only lady sitting down is a problem. It's annoying. The lady just sitting down. Don't trust her. She just sitting around the back, waiting for her turn. Duh, my girl. Good. Figo will kill me. My thing is, if you already know they're gonna kill you for opening the thing, then you might as well just let him kill you yourself. I mean, hmm. Ladies, out. I just like how merciful he is. He's just not going around killing everybody. He's gonna burn it. We're going to do with all of that. This. Oh my God. Honestly, I would have just let John take me out because there's no way that I would have been able to to deal with it. Cause he knew he was gonna he's gonna get unalived. He knew that. Treat all your ladies like this. You are no lady. She's gonna get him. Can we recover for this? Viggo, you know what was in that vault, right? It's not. He done pulled up to the spot. This is what happens when you kill a man's dog. Oh, dang. My thing is, you know this man is dangerous. Why would you keep him alive? That makes no sense to me. They want to, they want to be, you know, right? Do you know what was in that wall? Earth, but the leverage I had on this city. Yeah. Really? He thought he's a bit man because he's doing all this. First of all, you need you was running away when he was getting appro like apprehended. Ah, uh, then you got married, huh? Settle down. You know he got married. A lot of us are rewarded, which is why God took your wife. What, sir? Thanks to you, infecting everyone. Either you, either you unalive him or you don't. Forget the talking. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was just a fucking car, just a fucking dog. He gonna lab you just for saying it's a dog. Just a dog. Or you can die screaming alongside him! Just hold your breath, John. Just hold your breath. Yeah. See, but this thing, is he helping him? I'm confused. Because maybe he's helping him. Ooh, here they go again. That boy John quick. Oh, that's a painful way to go. I just can't suffocating. Oh God, uh, he was just doing a job. So I'm still thinking that he's helping John, but he probably just waiting to kill John himself. The windows are, are they bulletproof? Cool it, cool it, cool it. <laughs> cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it. They know you're coming. Of course. But it won't matter. The crazy part is he gave him, he gave his son up so that he can live. Crazy. Prio. I'm wee. Stop playing that fucking wee. Oh. oh God. Get down, get down. Oh, that boy John Wick, you cannot play with him. It's no more running. You're caught. The slow-mo, the walk. Yes, that is a king. That is a bad man. You can tell me that's not a bad man. No talking and walked off. Ugh, sweet, sweet revenge. Mm. Doesn't it taste good with a good side of orange juice? Make the arrangements. What arrangements? We still got what? We still got like 20 minutes left, 25 minutes left. Does he get his car back? How many times do I have to save your ass? I appreciate it. See? Retired. You really believe that? Oh, here she go. I swear, he should have just got rid of her. Stop being nice to these people. They're trying to kill. You find a way back to it. 
It's time to go home. Where's home? Oh, his house? Let's get on with this. Whatever the fuck this is. Hello, Marcus. Who was that? Every opportunity to kill John Wick. And if you have done your job. I'm thinking you're mad at somebody. Mad at your son. I always liked you, Marcus. Mm -hmm. I go out on my own. And then he running. That's the thing that gets me. He's running. How you miss the bad guy when you're running away from the fight? He's a punk. I hate people like they are so, such cowards. And then he out of here gonna finish the job. You couldn't even. Never mind. Oh, he's gone, baby. He'll be on the floor waiting for you. Miss Perkins, I apologize for calling you after this hour. They better be calling her to revoke her membership. Are they going to assassinate her? Yes! Yes! I'm so happy they got rid of her. She was getting on my nerves. I think it was a certain helicopter to certain helipad is being fueled for a certain someone. And now and I get that because now he don't care enough about, you know, stepping in because that man hired her and said, you know what, forget the rules, go against it, and I pay you double. So now he really don't care, which I respect wholeheartedly. <laughs> oh my god. They're dead. <laughs> God damn, I knew he'd come. It's your time, baby. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Who's got a gun? You're gonna need more than a gun. <laughs> Ooh! Oh. <laughs> uh, you is that man. I love him so much. <laughs> He's not even built like that. Why is he even? <laughs> Dummy. No. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Come on, John. Come on, John. Come on, John. He got out just in time. Did he run over there? Cause there's nobody. He walked over there casually. He just standing over like he a bad butt. Like, sir. No more bullets. No more bullets. Can he fight? Oh god, he has no match for John. Please clean him up on aisle three. We were professionals, civilized. Do I look civilized to you? What? Your son killed his dog. Uh, Daisy was a person in her own right. You're not gonna do much for that. Did he let him stab him? Why? Oh, he broke his arm. Did he punch him with his right arm? Cause I could've sworn that was broke. So they gonna call it even? Wait, did he perish? Come on, walk off. Is that a pharmacy? <clears throat> Ross is not supposed to burn, so is that burning? <laughs> oh. It's not Daisy, but it's Lily. Now he got a new dog. I'm so weak. Love that for him, Lily. Well, already, guys, that was John Wick. I personally love the movie. I love the action that like the action was just, it was coming and going. The main thing I want everybody to take away from this is to never get rid of a man's dog because you just never know how close he is to that dog. You just never know, you just never know. But all right guys, please like and comment. And the, all right guys, please like this video if you did enjoy this video, but also please subscribe to my channel as I am on the road to 3000. And also just comment in the comment section down below how how you felt about this movie? Did you like this movie? Did you like the violence? Did you think that it was warranted or not? All right, guys. I send everybody under the sound of my voice a ton and abundance load of positivity and love. And I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, guys.